First day of the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh World Championships in Whistler in Canada. In the second heat of the two-man, it was Canada's Nick Polignato, well placed in ninth after the first run, who showed the dangers of the track. Corners four to five have claimed a number of victims in training. Polignato crashing there and a long way down to the finish for him and Brakeman Ben Coquel. They were both out of the sled uninjured, but it seems unlikely that they'll give the track a third trip. Into the lead group and Great Britain's Brad Hall backed up his training speed by a fine first heat to leave him in the top five. Fifth, fourth and third covered by just eight hundredths of a second. Could the Brits dare to believe? Well, he put Chris Spring of Canada behind him as they hokey cokey their way up to the line. In fourth place, just two hundredths faster had been Latvian's Oscars Kibermanis. Never out of the top six all season, but never on the top step of the podium in a two-man race either. And he dropped behind in the final corner. Brad Hall led with three to go. A surprise third place perhaps for Nico Valter, given that he's still struggling with a torn hamstring and its after effects. Good starts from him and Paul Krentz and superb drives down the track. Put him in with a real medal shot, third place overnight. Francesco Friedrich looking for his fifth straight two-man world championships. The surprise second place man after he won, but he's come back from behind at least twice this season to overhaul Justin Cripps and claim a perfect season of eight wins. And he pulled out a big second run to throw down the gauntlet to the Canadian. Cripps, the first heat leader, was also the first Canadian to crash on the track on day one of training. But no mistakes in the first heat gave him a slender lead of 700. However, in the second run, he dropped behind and he's a tenth adrift overnight. Francesco Friedrich, the leader, with two of the four trips down the mountain completed. 1200s the gap to second. Walter and Hall perhaps battling for bronze as they go into day two. But it is Francesco Friedrich and Torsten Margis, the four-time world champions, who lead after the first day of action.